We are talking about Microsoft Flight Simulus. In this presentation, we are going to be specifically practicing landing. And there's a quick way to learn this. That's what I'm going to do. See if I can get started here. What we're going to do is we're going to get to, to pick two airports which are within like 10, 15 miles apart. I'm going to pick uh, Sugarland Airport, which is my hometown, Houston. And we're going to pick uh, KHOU, which is about uh, 10, 12 miles from the other location. It's about 18 miles, but I'm going to show you a shortcut. All right, so now here we have two airports which are located. Before we go into what we need to do is we need to change this to IFR. That's how we can use ILS landing capabilities. So we chose this one and when we choose that, if you see, we get two extra choices. We're leaving direct here, then we are going to be taking ILS runway 4. And the moment I do that, you see the plane path changes. That's an important thing to understand. After we have established the pathway, and here are from Sugarland, it's going to go to Gio, Carco, then Elrun, SA, and Houston Hobby. So there are, these are all different points, but I'll tell you a simple technique as how we can get to repeatedly practicing landing and focusing on the altitude, focusing on the throttle, focusing on the height, the glide, and focusing on landing, focusing on keeping the nose up. So we're going to be focusing on all these different things. If you repeatedly practice this uh, from, say for example, this point, and we can skip these points, just come here straight, then you have a straight line to the runway. And in this uh, distance, we practice first the height, then the angle of descent, all these uh, different parameters. But before we go to that, we need to bring up the ILF uh, PDF file, which you can download from Air Nav or many other places. And here's runway four, which is an important thing to remember is uh, 041 degrees. That is the orientation of this runway, which is 041 degrees. The next point is uh, the ILS frequency is 109.9. We need to remember these two numbers, 109.9 and approach CR S is uh, 041 degrees. Let's keep that in mind and let us begin with the flight uh, preparation here. And it's going to take a few minutes, then uh, we will proceed. While it's loading, uh, we can also look at here, as we can see, when it comes to Carco, you need to be at uh, 4,000 feet. By the time you reach uh, Eldrin, you need to be at 2,000 feet. By the time you reach SA, you should be at 1,500 feet. Then here is uh, minimums and here is the touchdown. So that gives you a pretty broad overview of uh, what are the things that we need to be f focusing. And it is clearly explained by the ATC control tower and if you follow the instructions we should be in the right direction and path. There are a few other things there are these two different areas one representing the horizontal variation this one is representing the vertical variation which you can use if you have to and when you get to just before landing you take off the autopilot and just lift the nose up and do manual landing. Okay, so these are some of the things uh, which we need to be focusing and the more and more we do these, when we pull up different runways, you see different numbers. Uh, so we begin to understand the rationale as why it is important to follow these steps. If we don't, uh, 
uh, we are not going to be able to successfully land the plate. So here are some of the things I need to do. Okay, let's get started here. First of all, uh, it's night time here in Houston, but we can change that. Let's go to weather conditions here. Here's a little navigational map which uh, will tell us here uh, which way we are going, but the plane is going in the opposite direction, but uh, that can be changed. And uh, let's see, we need to need to change the custom. Here's where we can change it to like daytime, 9, 10 o'clock. Let's put it 10 o 11 o'clock is good. I like that one. Now we got a bright sunshine here, which we can uh, watch. The next thing we need to do is to press control one that will bring up the PFD monitor. As we can see in the PFD monitor, we want to set uh, the VOR1 to 41 degrees. That's our landing path. Let's see if it will hold. Sometimes it holds, sometimes it doesn't. The next, v, that's V2. GPS which is 360 actually GPS we are supposed to go to south exactly this is 352 and if you if you look at uh, here in this map and if you look at the flight plan yeah it says we start off at uh, zero degrees then our uh, I have something set up here for user we don't need that we need to go to 177 for it to catch this path. So we have to set the GPS to 177. Right now it is uh, 360. Uh, once we have this one, we also have an option, travel plan. See, now here we have this travel plan. What we can do is uh, we don't need to start at uh, takeoff, cruise, descent and approach. So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to start with descend and or we'll start with approach to s begin with. So this is where you come to from here. You come to travel to like you can see here travel to. So once it is in the air, uh, it will be it will be approaching. That means we are uh, probably somewhere here like uh, Eldrin something like that and uh, then we just have to follow the instructions uh, from the ATC and also visual all right so let us start off so see this is already in flight okay let's begin so we are already at uh, max speed here so we are here so we are approaching the final descent so let's see what what's going on here control one we are at uh, GPS 227 and uh, this is okay and th is this on autopilot it is on autopilot and it is at uh, 1800 and about 2000 feet so we will get some instructions as to what we need to do 6000 feet. 6, feet so let's go to 6000 feet We are on autopilot, so we go to vertical, uh, increase it by 500 feet, 600 feet. So let's go to, according to the descriptions, so we'll see how far we'll be able to. I don't know why it started here, we'll see what happens. We should have taken the, I thought we took the approach, I don't know why. Okay, it's final. Let's see what happens. We can go to final and see what happens. Maybe it will expedite uh, some other things. Final approach. While it's loading, I just wanted to see these are, okay, these are some of the points we'll be looking at uh, Eldrin and uh, SA and uh, then final approach to landing. Okay, let's uh, we are at the KHOU Hobby Airport. Let's see where we are. So we are approaching the, this one. 
Okay. If you, if, you, if you look at here, this is our track. And let's look at uh, some other things here. We are 1000 feet, 86 miles, uh, and uh, it is uh, making final preparations. Let's keep, we are flatter down one. And uh, we are approximately 1200 feet above the ground and we are in the right direction we, we can cut down the speed here a little bit 80 that's good 75 is good uh, maybe give some more throttle maybe it's too fast so bring the speed down like 80 knots and uh, we also need to bring the flaps down we are very close flaps to level two all right we are not exactly lined up but i think that's the difference i told you one is 41 degrees one is 43 degrees so that's what i am trying to determine as to which one is the right one so we're only thousand feet above the ground and we are 76 miles we can cut down the speed a little more bring it about 60 nautical miles see if I can get line this uh, with the runway somehow but that's not very easy to do okay now we drop uh, we are very close we drop to flaps down and throttle down all the way so we are just a little bit low so we have to to lift it up a little bit so that uh, we can uh, see look at here we are approaching the runway our speed picked up a little bit and we need to come down and just land as I said, the degrees are not really right, so I'm trying to move it a little bit. Stall, stall, stall. started learning and as I said the degrees on the chart and in the actually in the map doesn't match in the flight plan doesn't match that's why we are a little bit off and uh, so each time you have to adjust the and uh, this uh, joystick is not the perfect one which I have okay so we stopped uh, where we are supposed to but uh, what I would like to do is I'm just going to have to escape and I'll say resume. When I tell it to resume or it will say restart, we're going to restart again and I, I, as I told you the, the, the difference I see is uh, this one says 41 degrees whereas I will show you in the cockpit it says uh, 44 degrees. So we have to see which one is the correct one <laughs> and that's where the, the problem we are seeing with the the alignment. Let it start again and uh, I will see if we can uh, repeatedly do it then it sort of becomes it's like training mind and muscle at the same time. That's what I think. Okay let's get ready here and things are going to move pretty fast here so let's get we are ready to come here and uh, let's see we need to reduce the speed throttle to like 80 degrees we have flap uh, that's the that's the path it is telling us and let's see if we are in a line here 80 degrees is pretty good 80 miles is good we have flaps too we're only about 900 feet here so let us go inside so what we need to do is uh, we need to get the flap down one more notch and if we can't see it uh, we can see here uh, we need to reduce the speed is good we're coming down too much 
we need to keep at 60 which is good 67 is good we are flaps a thousand feet we are in too fast it says so come down flap one down so cut the speed let reduce the throttle because the speed is going up so we are okay that uh, cyan color means we are doing okay and we are coming down too fast so I think we need to lift the throttle and the this one is back bring the throttle back to reduce the speed to 60 miles keep it around 60 miles if you can and uh, flaps are already down and our altitude is coming down so let's see if we can bring this into the center line because of the angles I talked about I don't know because it's very hard to align this in the last minute uh, that's not very friendly to us. our flaps are already down we are 800 feet we are 60 miles which is uh, very good uh, this one and uh, as we are getting close to the the runway we need to take the autopilot off and try to land as slowly as possible let us see obviously we are not lined up i think in the straight line but uh, anyway we should be able to land on the runway so our, our speed is okay our altitude is coming down all the flaps are down and let's look from inside because we can see the runway we are 500 feet so we should be here's the runway so we're just a little bit off but uh, that's all right so let's look at here uh, it says too fast come down with the flaps now maintain the speed and uh, that's coming down so that's good I think I don't know I'm just going to turn this one down so we are approaching the runway flaps down throttle zero and let it just glide slowly 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 and just lift the uh, nose up a little bit let it guide slowly of course one wheel is oh I think it broke some parts there well the second time is a little better than the first time that's how and if you keep repeating just the final uh, landing that should that should help us to yeah he's going to be mad if I don't take the plane and park it but that's okay but that's going to be useful to if you do it like 20 times then we should be able to make a smooth landing and again I, I personally feel that uh, this degrees don't match from the flight let me get inside and I'll show you what I was talking about sorry okay if you look at here if you look at the flight plan see this is saying 44 degrees here when we land and, and this one says 41 degrees that's why we are getting this angle change and I'll have to figure out how to match the angle obviously we know we are not in the right parallel line so somewhere along like 42 or something like that may get us right into because you see we landed at uh, 40 degrees uh, which should have been like 44 degrees then we would be perfectly lined up with uh, the runway okay thank you so much uh, for watching this I appreciate that. well as I said this is uh, I, I've been struggling with this for several months uh, and uh, I'm getting maybe one step at least landing the plane in one piece which is not bad I think I, some, I saw some spark parts flying off but uh, at least uh, we were able to land and park hopefully maybe with uh, another 50 approaches like this uh, just the final approach we begin to get the feel for what is the appropriate speed altitude and when do we bring the throttle down and uh, when do we turn the nose up all these things thank you so much and please do subscribe to our youtube channel we'll see you next time